spending some quality time with my family. That's the reason former Prime Minister Bas Diopande was absent during this year's independence celebrations making up for lost time with family and friends abroad. Mr. Pandey returned home yesterday and spoke for the first time about the Prime Minister's recommendation that he and the former Prime Minister Patrick Manning be given the nation's highest award. I think it was a political play and that political play made it very embarrassing for me. But whether it was a political play or not, Mr. Pandey tells us he could not have refused an offer that was never made to him. I read in the papers that the Prime Minister, after um, a jolly time at some cocktail party, uh, made this announcement that um, she was going to offer uh, the highest award that the country can offer uh, to both myself and uh, former Prime Minister Patrick Manning. At his office at the Rienzi complex, Mr. Pandey explained he was never contacted by the relevant authorities. And as a former Prime Minister, he says the relevant authority in this matter was the office of the President. And it's why he believes the award was tainted by the absence of proper process. It gave the impression that the Prime Minister has these awards in her hand, in her possession, and it is hers to fling at whom she could. Yes, that is not the law, and that is not the process. And it is embarrassing to the recipient when it is done that way. He did not accept one of the reasons given by his colleague, former Prime Minister Patrick Manning, for his rejection. The San Fernando East MP mentioned the Prime Minister sustained attacks against him in his response. Politicians are supposed to say um, uh, critical things about their opponents. But one thing Mr. Pandey does agree with is that both he and Mr. Manning are deserving of the nation's highest award. I would say for myself, if, if it is, order, if it is um, awarded in the proper manner, I will certainly accept it.